Do I have a phone? Yeah, turn that fan down. Go on and start opening this. Give people some time to get in here. This is a jewelry jar. Opening from the thrift, from the Goodwill store. I got this jar and it was $24. Where's the price for so y'all can see? $24.99. Hello, one person watching. $24.99. The thr this thrift store was a lot more expensive than the jewelry jars at the other one. So I'm probably not going to go and get too many jewelry jars from that one because, yeah, $24.99 is not much bigger than one of the jars I got last week for $14.99. Hey, Martha. How you doing? How's it going? I meant to get on this weekend, but it was a hectic weekend. It was very busy. My son's graduation Friday, then Saturday I had to go to a my little cousin's graduation barbecue and Sunday church and stuff and did some thrift on Sunday because you know Sunday's 99 cents Sunday where the color is 99 cents. But I'm going to do this uh, jewelry jar first and I have some a lot of stuff from the thrift. I went thrift crazy because I'm going to set me a Poshmark store up. I'm doing all right. Just a tired worry out from just the weekend just wore me out. But I'm going to set me a Poshmark. Let me turn this fan because it's blowing that paper. Set me a Poshmark store up really soon because I've bought so many purses and so much stuff. That's ridiculous. So then, do you have a Poshmark, Martha? Well, now I'm not going to put your purse on Poshmark because then somebody else might buy it. Don't want to do that. We'll wait for you to get a PayPal. But I'm going to put my other purses and set, set up a Poshmark store really soon because I already have a Poshmark from where I buy stuff. I just have to put images of the stuff I want to sell. Hey, Laura, how you doing? Okay, let's see. This is a little wooden necklace. And they have more jewelry jars there today, but they are too expensive. But that's cute. Y'all like that little wooden thing? That's really cute. I don't know if it has a, let me make sure no markings or anything. No name brand or anything. It's just a cute little wooden. I like that little wooden necklace. I like it. What is this? This is a bracelet. It's cute. It's, it's two shells glued together. Can y'all see that? That's what it looks like. Two shells glued together and then just, I don't know what those are. Just some kind of little tiny shells. They're little tiny shells. If you look at it, see them? It's really cute. It's a really cute little bracelet. I like that. Let's see what else. Is this a necklace? Oh, I hate when they're tangled. Oh, this is an earring. I don't know. It's just a little fish. A little fish earring. Mm, I don't think it's nothing special. Little bracelet. Psh, nothing special. Nice color, though. I like that color. Ooh, what's this little necklace? What is this? Let me turn it up. I'm cutting my head off. Y'all can't even see me. Or I can push this back. Let me push this back. I got a bag in the way. Uh, it's still caught on a cord or something. Oh, another bag. <laughs> All these thrift store bags I got. Try to get it to where y'all can see me and see the jar. But, eh, not cooperating. But the jar is right here. It's <laughs> sitting on my laptop. See, let me move this other bag. Uh, now, let's see if I can get it. Whoa, almost broke it. <laughs> I'm just being clumsy. Oh, I'm a klutz, y'all, but I am really a klutz. This jar was $24.99, which is expensive compared to the price I paid for those other jars. One was $14.99, I think, and $12.99 or something like that. Or $13.99, $12.99. But this was from a, the other thrift store that I go to all the time that's closer to me where I get those nice purses. So I, their jars are more expensive. So they better have good stuff. It looks like they have better stuff than those other jars, though, so far. So we shall see. So it's probably worth the $24.99. Because this, this looks like they got some decent quality stuff in this jar. Let me see. this. It's tangled. Okay, this is cute. Nice and springy and summery. It's cute. Look at this. Uh, 
That's really cute. I like that. Let's see what this is. This is. They must be, because yeah, that, that thrift store is habit. They, the other thrift store where I got those other ones was not, but this, like I said, this has some good stuff. It looks like this has some nice stuff, because look at this little necklace. That other one had like faded stuff, but I've already worn some jewelry from that other one, so they had some decent stuff too. Oh, and I found out that this, which was in my other jewelry jar, I looked that up, and that is sterling silver. It's J.C. Penney's or something, sterling silver. I don't know if that stone is a real, what is that stone? topaz or whatever. I don't know if it's a real stone, but this is sterling silver. So I did good. That came out of that uh, jewelry jar from the other one, one of those jewelry jars from the other thrift store. And I think I found something. What else did I find out? Oh, someone told me that that little tiny necklace that was in my other one was uh, sterling silver as well. It just was faded and tarnished. Said it's from Mexico. It's called a albaca piece or some kind of funny name. Anyway, this necklace, I don't see a brand or anything on it, but it's a really cute necklace and it doesn't look like no cheap quality or anything really cute i could have wore that with what i have on today because see yeah colors and colors put that paper on my on there so i can sit this stuff on the paper okay now this is tangled a little bit i think i'm about to get it untangled see this uh this is a tangled mess I see butterflies. I see butterflies. You know, I love butterflies and flowers. And I see a butterfly. I think it's a butterfly and a, well, heart with inside of a flower, kind of. Uh, but it's in, no, oh, it's folded up. And this is a magnet, I guess. No, yeah, it's a magnet. I don't know how it's supposed to stay because I guess you just put them together like that. These are magnets. I don't know what the point of the magnets are, but yeah. I don't know if it's supposed to be a charm bracelet or I, think, I guess it's supposed to be a charm bracelet maybe. You twist it around. I don't know, but it has a little heart with a a flower with a heart and then a butterfly. Two of the things I like, butterflies and flowers. I guess I'll figure out what the heck it is. It's, but see, it's magnetic. Those little, these little things are magnets, so it's sticking together. So what is? It has to be a bracelet, huh? Like a charm bracelet. That's what I would. Yeah, that's what it is. It's a charm bracelet. Charm bracelet. Okay, let's see what else. Oh, uh, these tangles. Yeah, that's what it was, a bracelet. I had to figure out how it worked. Oh, this is a guitar earring tangled up on here. Hold on. Yeah. Trying to get it untangled. It's a tangled mess. Ah! Did you see my Louis Vuitton that you was you on here when I found show my Louis Vuitton bag that I found at the thrift store? It's the same thrift store I found that at. Welcome, second person. Subscribe if you haven't. Thumbs up the video. Trying to get it untangled here. Look at this. I'll save that for later. This tangled mess, but it's a little guitar earring on here. That's cute. Oh, and there's a little cross. Uh, this is some kind of cross necklace. That's cute. But we got to get that untangled. So I'm going to sit that to the side to get that untangled later. Pull the other stuff that's not brand new. Dana Bachman. Dana Buckman. Look at this. Brand new. Tag, brand new with tag. What's the price of it? Is it showing the price? Nope. The price is, is from Kohl's. Let's see if I can see the price of what this is supposed to cost. Dana Buckman. I'm trying to peel that off, see if the price is underneath there. Uh, without tearing the price. Uh, no price, unless I tore it, because I did. Let me see. I tore part of the sticker, but I'm, if I take it this way, oh, yeah. I tore the part. Of it. Is that the price? I think that's the part with the price that I just tore. 
<laughs> it looks like it says $25 or something like that. If it's $25, then that means I got my money worth. Hey, big man, I'm glad to see you back and doing fat, doing the good after your surgery. But this is a cute brown little stone necklace. Yeah, I told your girlfriend you'd be all right and I pray for you. That's cute. Cute, cute, cute. I know. Dana Buckman's not, Buckman's not cheap either, is it? So did I get my $24 worth, $25 worth already? And I still have this much in my jar. So we shall see what else I got. Still got this much left. Uh, this looks like a handmade. I like that I'm getting a lot of colorful stuff because that's perfect for spring and summer. All this colorful stuff. Colorful little stones and stuff. I would definitely wear it. Um, let's see. Let's see here. It's tangled. I think I got it untangled. Mm -hmm. Pretty much it's still kind of tangled, but yeah. This is it. Probably a handmade piece, I would assume. But I don't know. It could be store bought. Trying to there to get that part. But I'm trying to see what's going on down here with it. Does it need to slide on through here some more? Yeah. But yeah, I put a picture on my Instagram of me and my son and some pictures from his graduation. Did I put some? No, I put one, just me hugging him after his graduation. It was nice. This I don't know how this thing goes, but it's cute. I'm going to get these. I got to pull them through here so that this will be even. Pull the, the necklace through, but it, I think it's cute. It's a cute little necklace if, once I get it together because it's all kinds of ways. Now, I haven't seen your video. I'm going to go watch it. What did you do, a jar? Thank you, Laura. I hope I, I hope I can do good. It seems like I'm doing well for $24. Ooh, what's this? That's cute. This little necklace, that's cute. Cute little necklace. Just black with a um, little clear black. Little, yeah, that's cute. No name or no brand or anything as far as I can see, but it's cute. That's really cute. And this one right here, I don't know. Is this what is this? This is something creek. Cold water creek. Anybody heard of cold water creek? This necklace is cold water creek. It's cute. That's cute. Little silver necklace, Cold Water Creek. It has this little thing on here that says Cold Water Creek. Oh, y'all don't have jars. See, I thought that my thrift store, my Goodwills didn't have jars because I never paid attention, I guess. And then I looked, I just started looking at the, uh, Joe, uh, Joan told me about the jars. I started looking and I'm finding them now. But this one was the cheapest one at that thrift store today. The rest of them was $35, $29. I was like, mm-mm. And this one had looked like it had the nicest stuff in it too. But yeah, that's cold water creek. I ain't gonna be able to see that small print. I don't think it's silver, real silver, but it looks really nice. Be nice if it had 925 Italy on it. I don't see it, but I overlooked 925 last time. But yeah, that's that's cute. How cute is that? And then you I guess you can make it long or it long or twisted him then wear it short some kind of way you know how you twist them like this maybe and then wear it like that shorter so that's cute that's a cute necklace and this i guess this can be a necklace or you can twist it and wear it as a bracelet so that's good you can do what you want with this one Cute little marble looking bracelet, I guess. Almost looks like those hair balls you used to wear as a kid. I know I'm not the only one that wore those hair balls. I cannot be. This was the same thing. I guess they're, they're family. These two are family. Brother and sister bracelets. And we got this. That's cute. There's little silver things in the 
I'll be wearing that because I got me a lot of green stuff for Jamaica. Whenever I go, uh, I'm still trying to get the ticket and get stuff straightened out with that. Hopefully, at least July, I will be going. I wanted it to be this month, but I still got to straighten out some stuff. Well, look at this shell. That's cute. It's a shell, but why is it? Ah, I'm going to have to unhook this black one. It's tangled all over everything. This black necklace. There. That's a cute little shell necklace. I mean, bracelet shells. Nice color, nice, nice color. Oh, she she has a challenge. What challenge does she have? What challenge does Joan have? I haven't watched because I've been so busy this weekend. They got this little neck bracelet. That's a cute little bracelet. Got little flowers on it which I love, and it's yellow and springy. This is just nothing. <laughs> just a little black simple. Uh, sometimes simple is good. Just need a little simple black necklace, and that's what this is. Very simple. It got a hook uh, in. I guess you just hook it on. I don't know. But that's all that is, a simple little black necklace. And another little beaded bracelet green bluish colors there looks all blue on there but it's really got a green tint in it too uh, but you all can't y'all can't see that green tint in it but i like that color and what is this what is oh this is cute this looks like this costs some money this don't look like this is cheap i'm gonna have to look this one up look at it it's heavy too it's nice quality I don't know what it is, but look at that in the back. Now that's cute. Look at the hook. Something's up. Something's up. I'm trying to look for something on here. No, no. Is there a marking? None. How you take this thing off? I'm assuming you go like you twist it. Oh, you might be twisting the wrong way. I don't know. But it's nice. I don't know what if this is a brand or anything, but oh, and you can take that off. Cool. The little charm just comes off and you can pop it back on. So you can wear it like that without a charm. Or wear it with with the charm. So that's cute. cute. This is a nice necklace right here. Don't know. Don't know what brand that it, it may be. I have no clue. It's nice. I don't know. Anybody know what what brand this may be or what this may be? It has to be something. This is not a cheap necklace. It's no way. It's no way. And that would go perfect with this. The green with the green. And this has got silver in it. That would go perfect. What, what is this? <laughs> okay, this is just a, I don't know, earring. It's a cube with, I guess, fake diamonds on it. But it's not real. That part dangling is tarnished if it is real silver. Cute little bracelet. Little beaded bracelet. What is this? Ooh, that's cute. That's a nice little bracelet. This little, that's the back of it. This is the front of it. And it has the clasp, but then you just clasp it together. Just put it together. Yep, and that's really tiny, but I think it'll fit my wrist. We'll see. It's cute, though. You got a lot of cute, simple stuff in this one, but I'm liking the stuff that I got in this one better than the other jars. Y'all like these jars better than the other jars? I, I am. I mean, I'm still got a whole bunch in here. And I've forgotten a lot of nice stuff already. I don't know what, what is this. Now, that's different. 
See, this is that symbol again. I had a necklace with this symbol in the last one. Anybody know what brand that is? This symbol right there. Anybody know that symbol? I had a necklace with that symbol in the last one, and I need to know what brand, and I don't know how you, how you look stuff up by symbols. So this is like a matte silver on the these things, and then just chains wrapped in between, them, and it's different. <laughs> it's different. Almost like a bondage necklace, but I would find a way to rock. You got the diamond, little fake diamonds, cubic dark on or whatever they are. But it's a cute little necklace. It's different. It's, it's a it will look cute on once you fix whatever's going on over here with it. Oh, you were gonna go watch somebody else, another jar opening. <laughs> oh, look at this. This is cute. Oh, you're gonna look and see what so tell me what brand that is. Yeah, I'm gonna have to ask them because I have two necklaces. I would, I, yeah, I probably do what you said though. What you said you would do? Watch the other jar open it to see if anybody else has something with that symbol on it. Help! Help! This, this is really cute, but it's so tangled. The necklace that is tangled with is cute too. If I can get it untangled, is the question. Ugh. Come on now. Come on, necklaces. Okay, if I calm down. There, see, I'm getting it. When I go slower and I have patience, something that I'm working on, patience, which should be a lot easier now that my son graduated. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, go, watch my other jars. But I think this one's a lot better. Than the other jars. Ah, uh, here we go. So I almost got it. I almost got it. Okay, I almost got them. But both of these are cute. If I can get them a loose, I can tell that I love both of them. Okay, so I'm gonna have to unhook one of these necklaces if I can find the clasp before it. I don't think this one has a clasp. I think this one is just a throw on your neck. The other one may have a class, but it has so many things on it that look like a class, but it's hard to find. Because it's tangled. Okay, well, maybe I'll get it. Let's see. Well, no, I'm going to have to open it. So I got to find the opening. Here it is. Found it, found it, found it. Oh, it came apart right when I found the opening. Look at this one. I, this is what I said. It's really cute. It's the silver with these little beads on it. I'm trying to hold it still with little fake little diamonds, I guess. But that's cute. That is cute. And that's the class for that. I don't think it has any markings. I don't know. No, but it's cute. Yeah, that's pretty. And it's real pretty in person. This camera's not doing it justice. Got hair hanging off of it, I look like. And this is the other one that was tangled with, which is cute. 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 Silver and gold, simple. You can wear it as one long necklace or like a short little necklace, but that's cute. That's really cute. I am really satisfied with this jar, even though I paid $25 for it. Yeah, it's really worth it. Those other ones, I don't think were worth it because I saw a whole bunch of them New Orleans looking beads at the top. I'm like, no, I don't need any of those. None. If it's not real jewelry, I don't need it. And, the, and those jars cost more than this one, and this one's got good stuff. Another necklace made with shell from shells, which can be a very long necklace, a belt like this one. Maybe it is a belt. I don't know what this is. Or a belt like that other one. This is long. If this is a necklace, and then I guess you double it up and make it like that. But it's made out of little thin shells, too. So that's cute. Look how cute that is on them. See, that's good. I got a black shirt because then you get an idea of what, but good idea of what it looks like on because it's the black. It's just plain. Hey, Miss Raven. 
welcome to my jar. I still got this much left, so you you missed some, but I still got a lot left. This jar is pretty good, too. This jar, I'm loving it better than those other two jars. I paid $24.99 for it, but it's worth it because I think I got my money worth just with that Dana Bachman piece that I got right here, brand new. Buckman, I keep saying Bachman, my countryness. Sorry, that's the Kentucky in me. Oh no. More tangles, y'all. <laughs> More tangles. This is a earring. It's like one of those, what are those, like a weather thing, Indian weather thing or something? I don't know. <laughs> I got a cute yellow purse that would be cute with this. I got a cute little yellow purse today that would be cute. I know. I think I did too. I was thinking I got ripped off because I paid $12.99 and then. Uh, what was it? Thirteen ninety nine for the other jars, and I had more. They, I mean, there was two jars, but this one has way better stuff than those jars did. So that's why I assume. I don't know though, because the other jars they had didn't look like they had way better stuff. I just eyeballed what I thought was good and was like, I want that one for twenty four ninety nine. Okay, come apart, come apart. Hmm. There we go. There we go. Got it. Look at that. That's cute. That's cute. That is cute. Look at that. Wow. It has an earring or something dangling from it. Oh, a necklace. It's tangled all around. wonder if this necklace is real. I don't know. It looks like it's faded. But it may just need to be cleaned. Oh, it doesn't have a marking on it. Oh, it has some markings on it. This little thin gold necklace. See a hang necklace hanging off of this one. I'll oh, shoot y'all. Did we find some gold? Did we find the gold? Let's see. If I can get it off here. It's so tangled up. But it looks like this is some quality. Just need to be cleaned. It has a little this on here, whatever the little stone. Don't let me done find some gold. Where's me gold? Like the little leprechaun. Good thing I'm good at getting stuff untangled because I would be very frustrated. <laughs> you have to like untangling stuff to do these jewelry jars. Or you have to be good at it because, yeah, when these things get tangled like this, it's so crazy. Uh Where are you at now? Where are you at, Raven? You said you're in your camper. Where are you located? You, I know you're driving around. What state or city are you in now? I'm going to have to watch some of your videos of you traveling and stuff, driving around. I like stuff like that. I like all kinds of videos. I watch all kinds like travel vlogs. I like shopping, hauls. I like reaction videos. It's all the stuff I do. DIYs. I love all kinds of videos. YouTube is my television. I don't even watch TV. I watch YouTube. But I did get stuck watching. I was at a, at a church member. They cooked yesterday. They had a Mexican food and we was watching Netflix. I put it on Netflix and it was a show called Seven... Is it Seven Days or Seven Seconds? Seven Days? Something like that. It has Regina King in it. It's a series. And then they did. They said they canceled it for season two. That show's good. I couldn't stop watching it, but I didn't see the whole season. But it was very interesting. Interesting. Seven seconds, seven days. I don't know if y'all watched it or what. So I did get caught on Netflix. Every time now and then, if I go to someone else's house, I might watch. get caught on a Netflix series or something. But I don't have Netflix, and I really don't want Netflix. But I don't know. If they renew that, that series with Regina King at seven seconds or seven days, if they decide to renew it after they said they were not, I might have to get Netflix. Yeah, here it is, this little necklace. Now let me see what that marking is on it. See, it has a, you can, I mean, y'all might be able to see that it has marks, but of course you're not going to be able to read what it says. But yeah, it has something right there, something. Let me see if my old eyes are good enough to see. What it says. Woo. I 
don't know. I don't think these abs is going to do the trick. Because they got a lot of numbers on here. I'm going to need a magnifying glass. No. Maybe I need to turn it this way. Because I think it says 10K. I think. It says 18 something 26. Something slash 26. The top part says something. Oh man, I can't read this. I wish I had some a magnifying glass. I'm gonna have to get a magnet. Oh, my phone. Good idea. Good idea. Didn't think about that. My does the phone have a magnifying glass on it? Or it just looks bigger in the phone. Let's see. No, it don't look bigger. Let me see. Where's the camera? I'm trying. I don't know nothing about these phones. Uh, what, what do I need to use on the phone? Hey, Jody. Welcome to the chat. Don't forget to thumbs it up. Am I just supposed to put it close like this and try to look at it through the phone? It's blurry. I'll hit the focus. Ah. Uh, I hate to focus, 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 focus. It won't focus. Focus. Duh. What's wrong with me? I'm slow, y'all. Forgive me. My brain has been drained from the weekend. I am slow. I ain't even been, I've been at work not knowing what I'm doing. Okay, now how am I going? I'm going to try to zoom it. Yeah. But the focus is, okay, here we go. Mm. The focus is way off. Come on now, focus. Focus! It's trying, but it ain't doing too good. Oh, man. Come on, iPhone. Go right here, maybe. If I go down further, maybe it'll focus. Uh, maybe if I sit it on my lap and then try it, maybe. Yeah, it looks like it might focus better. Let's see. I can find where I'm supposed to be at. Uh, here we go. Come on now. Come on. Come on. Let me zoom in some more. The more I zoom in, the more blurry it is. I'm trying to get it to focus. Darn it, I'm gonna have to get some. I got some reading glasses around here. I don't know if that's gonna help me though. It's so tiny. I need a magnifying glass. This phone is not doing this the trick. It's blurry. I'm gonna try some more. Try to zoom in some more. Let me put it on. It was on video. Maybe that's the problem. Need it on photo. Oh, come on now, focus. Does the iPhone suck with this? This is an iPhone 6. It must suck at this because it's not focusing at all. High definition. Um, now focus. Okay, stupid. Start it, y'all. This phone is no good. Take a picture and zoom in. I'm going to try to take a picture, but it's... Oh, uh-oh, I think I might get it, y'all. I think I might get it. I think I might get it. Thank you for telling me to take the picture first and then zoom in, Martha. <laughs> I'm a little slow, I told y'all. You wouldn't believe I have a degree in IT because <laughs> I'm so technical. Lost. 
technically lost, however you want to say it, but let me zoom. Okay, so let me zoom in this picture. Okay. Darn it, it's still fuzzy. Let's take another picture. They shouldn't have this. It's so tiny. Look like it says D-E-L-L. -L. I don't know. It's not a Dale necklace. <laughs> I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it, y'all. We're going to find out what this necklace is. It better be something after all this trouble. We're going to find out what this necklace is. This necklace will not defeat me. I'm going to put it on here. Maybe if I put it on a flat surface. Flat surface. Okay. And try again with the flat surface. Now, oh, my lamp was better than that. My lamp was way better than that. We're going to try it. We're going to get this. We're going to get it. We're going to find out. If not, I'll have to wait till I get a magnifying glass and let y'all know what it is or what it says. Darn it. But I hate, I wish I could find out in this. I'm trying to back up and not block my light. Come on now, picture. Mm, take a picture. That's not blurry. Is that a blurry picture? Yep. iPhone, you suck. Why do people pay all this money for these phones? They suck. This is my work phone, so I ain't pay for this thing. Because the zoom should be better. It's, why is it just blurry and not focusing? That's crazy. And I got it on high definition. Come on now. What is the problem? Maybe if I put it in my hand. I'm trying all kind of things. Where's my son with the young guys? <laughs> you said you said young guys. <laughs> he has young guys. <laughs> oh, duh, because my eyes are old. He's playing basketball. He's outside playing basketball. It's summertime for him and no more school for him. He graduated, so he yeah. Trying to play basketball all, all the time. Let's see. Uh your, you have an iPhone, but it's an iPhone 6. It's not this new app. I don't have the new iPhone. It's my work phone. It's an iPhone 6. Okay. I'm almost getting it, y'all. I'm almost getting it. It's trying. It's struggling, but it's trying. Come on now. Come on, iPhone. Work with me. Work with me. Work with me. I'm getting there, y'all. I'm trying. Try not to move it too close because then it gets blurry, but I'm trying to get it close enough to where I, I can see something. Okay. 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 Right here might be perfect. Took a picture. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see if I can zoom in and see anything. Nope. Blurry when I zoom in. Forget it. <laughs> We're going to find out. I'll probably update y'all on my next video because I cannot tell what that says. But And that taking a picture and zooming in didn't work, but I think it's something because it got markings. Why else would it have markings on it? If it's not gold, it's gold plated. Or either that jewel, talking about the jewel, I see. I'm going to try it with these old eyes again. It looks like it says D-A-L-L, -L, unless I got it upside down, which I could have it upside down. So, um, I don't know. Why would they do that to me? I think this is something good. And I'm going to get a magnifying glass, a magnifying kit like everybody else got, and I'm going to find out what this is, what this says. Because I think that's something good. I think that's real. And we're going to find out in my next video because I'm going to buy me a magnifying glass tomorrow. Somewhere. Dollar Tree, wherever. Dollar General, Dollar Tree. But I like this, though. Isn't that cute? 
That's what it was tangled up in. That's cute. You'll be very noisy though walking around. Well, it doesn't shake too much when you walk around. It's just holding it, makes all that jingle bells. And I think this that's shells too. Yeah, a lot of stuff with shells. Yeah, these are shells too. These made with shells and beads. All right, all to the next. This little bracelet was tangled up in there too. This bracelet. Yeah, oh, it has markings and it's not tiny, so I can read this. I think it's let's say thing because it looks sloppy. Oh gosh, not again, people! It's so sloppy. I can't. I think it does say nine two five down there at the bottom. It's just a, it's just a little bracelet, little blue and silver bracelet. But I think this says 925 in the back of that. Can't hardly see. But I think the bottom of that says 925 over here, right here. I don't know. It's upside down, I think. Who got good eyes? Who can see what that says? <laughs> I don't have good ass, obviously. I thought I did to trying to do this. We're going to find out about this one, too, because I'm not going to keep straining my eyes and holding y'all up trying to find out what these things are. So I'll sit that with them with the other one. So we got two things we're marking, so we got to figure out. Then we got some more shells, another shell bracelet. Somebody loves shells. I know it did look like it had 925 on it, so hopefully it does. It needs to be clean, though. It's tarnished. Little pearls. I'm sure they're not real pearls, but look, it's still cute. Faux pearls, whatever. It's still a cute little pearl necklace. Oh, you're supposed to what? What does Joan do with these pearls? She bites them. I ain't biting them. They ain't washed yet. Oh, I'm getting sleepy. <laughs> oh, this is one necklace. Oh, that's cute. I got more green. That goes with that. That goes with that. So I got a lot of stuff I could wear this little bracelet with. I'm loving this color for spring and summer this year. So I got a purse, a couple of purses with this color and stuff. So I'm will be wearing this color. It's a cute little necklace. Getting down to the nitty gritty. That's cute. This is cute. Mix says M I X. I could read that one. The back says Couture. Culture. It's a not Couture. I guess Couture. No culture. Mix culture. Mix culture. M I X culture. Y'all ever hear of mix culture? I don't know, but it's cute. That's cute. Little lightweight little. Uh, bracelet. So this is mix M I X. The back says culture. This. Oh, this is a cute purple one. And I got a cute purple coach purse to go. We'll match this. Y'all saw my coach purse in my last haul. That would, I could wear this with my little purple coach purse. That's cute. And then you got a little sky blue, little beaded necklace. My fingers are dirty from this stuff. Watch my hands. But this is cute. I like this. It's simple. But it's cute. Simple but cute. Really cute. Then this more shells, more shells, more shells. And these are like purple and green, and yeah, you can see the purple and green in this one. 
the other one, you can see the green, but you can see this like purple and green and cute bracelet. That's cute. What's this? This is a uh, clip on earring and a regular earring or is it to get oh oh it's all one earring that's cute that is a clip on i don't wear clip on but my godmother does clean it up and give it to her doesn't have any markings but it's a cute little clip on earring that's cute Oh, uh, but it's only one. They didn't put the other earring in there. How are you going to put one earring? What's somebody going to do with one? Like those other earrings I found. I think it's only one of those two. That's cute. Shells. More shells. This is like a violet color, a plum color, and then cream. What it is, like plum. I got another little beaded. It's not black. It looks black, but it has all kind of other colors to it. Is that Abilene? Which one? This one? That looks like Abilene. See, I don't even know what Abilene is. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Don't know if it is. I don't know. Somebody knows who watches this video. Let me know. Here, ooh, that's a cute. Why can't I have a pair of earrings? Because this is a cute earring. It's just one deck on earring, but look at it. That's a cute earring. But there's no other earring. They should not put earrings in there if they don't have both sets. At least when Joan gets her, she usually has both earrings. This is just a... Don't see any markings. I'm trying to see if it says now too fast. Oh, it does have markings. It does have markings. I think it's just tarnished. <laughs> Uh, it has markings, y'all. I don't know if these old eyes can read it, but it has markings, tiny markings. Too bad my son's not in here. It says mm. I don't know if y'all can see that. No, I'm trying to make it Focus, but it's not focusing. Don't know. We'll find out. So that's another one to find out about because the eyes is too old. I thought I was young, y'all. I found out today. I am not young no more. That's a shameful God. <laughs> As the old folks say, it's a shameful God. Uh, I'm trying my best to read this stuff too. I think it says not too five Italy because I think the bottom says Italy. The top is the part I can't read. Yeah, I think this says not too five Italy. I'm going to give me some jewelry cleaner and clean this stuff up. I think that's real, y'all. So I have what? Three things to look up? Yeah, I have three things to look up and I have one more stupid earring without a mate. Another earring without a mate. What's the point of it? Just throw the earrings away. You ain't gonna put the matches in in the same jar. I guess they put the matches in another jar. Trying to hope you buy another jar. So, from what we saw, I have these three things to look up or get a magnifying glass so I can read what they say because they have markings. So we have three things with markings. These two are more than likely silver, and this is gold more than likely. And I hope this this jewel is real. Whatever it is, is it a blue topaz or it's what it could be a blue topaz is what it looks like so i hope it is a blue topaz that would be freaking awesome did i find a match here because this no this is the one there's no mate to the any of the earrings no mate to any of the earrings but and then this one was a like really cute too so this is another really cute fine but it doesn't have any markings but it looks like it has value it looks like it has a lot of value but i don't know Guess I would have to look up that flower symbol on the back or something, but it's hard to look up symbols. Um, hard to look up symbols. But I will let y'all know. That's all of the jar. The jar is defeated.
But I do have some more thrift stuff. Do y'all want me to keep going or do y'all want me to stop? I got purses and I have shirts and so I have more thrift stuff. I'm not going to do it all today, but I, I can do some more if y'all want me to do some more. Just let me know. Y'all want me to do some more or close it on that for tonight. Because I have bags over here on the floor. <laughs> Laura says keep going. It's one boat. We got three people in here. Y'all like staying out here forever. Y'all keep Joan out here for four hours. Martha says keep going. So, hey, it wins. Keep going. Here we go. Okay. Start with the purses. I know y'all like the purses. Let me put this stuff back or move it out of the way. Now I'm going to put it back in the, in the jar. Throw all this back in the jar. I don't know why somebody would buy that Dana Brockman necklace and not wear it. Brand new necklace. And they didn't even wear it. People do some crazy stuff. Well, this one's really cute. I don't know if y'all can see all the Can y'all see all the colors in there? That's cute. I didn't even realize those. Is this like a mood necklace? This, this is a mood bracelet. No wonder I didn't see those colors. This is a freaking mood watch. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's cool. Let me touch it again. Watch, 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 watch. Oh my freaking gosh. I love this. It was just blue when I got it out. I didn't know that this was a mood bracelet. This is really cute now. I've never seen this type of mood, mood bracelet. This is cute. Wow. I did not know that was what that I was looking at that. Like, where did these colors come from? I don't remember that piece. Then I touched it and it changed colors. So it can go from this color to blue to like a brown. And yeah, it's a mood bracelet. That's freaking awesome. All right, let's sit this down and get to the rest. Purses, purses, purses. No, I get paid three ninety nine dollars for these purses. I'm going to make some money on Poshmark for these purses. Some of these purses, I research them. I always research them before I buy them. I thought this was a cute little purse. I was like, well, it got to be worth something. It, people selling them for 16 bucks on Poshmark. Paid three ninety nine, dollars 16 bucks profit. Shoot. I mean, not 16 bucks profit, profit, but still profit. That's 12 bucks profit. Shoot, off of one purse if you can sell it for $16.99 and it's in perfect shape. So people were selling these for $16.99. This is a, what brand is this? I looked up the brand too. Uh, Lillian Vernon, Lillian Vernon and it's made in China, but it's a really cute little purse and it's genuine leather. Yeah, this is leather, it's not fake. Genuine leather. And the interior is, it says body fabric, China, genuine, genuine leather and Care instructions, wipe with a damp cloth, whatever it's all it says. Virginia Beach, Virginia. You got a telephone number on here and everything. So this is made in Virginia, Virginia Beach, Virginia. But the exterior of the leather says channel. But the Lillian Vernon Company, I guess, is in Virginia Beach, Virginia. And it's probably made in China. But it's a cute little, little red little purse. I think it's like reddish brick red maroon is looks red just a little dusty more i would just say red but a darker blood blood red kind of and then i found this purse yesterday it's gonna take a lot of re reconstruction for this person not much but some cleaning and reconstruction but this is a tory birch and they didn't price mark it they did not price mark it. It was $3.99. I thought they would have price marked it because it was even sitting over there with the price marked stuff, but it was not price marked. And she was looking on and trying to find a price. I'm like, mm-mm, this ain't price marked. And this is a Tory Burch. Shoot, her purse is expensive. They even sell Tory Burches on Poshmark for $100. So this is a nice size one. And look at the details on the bottom. Well, it has those details that Tory Burch stuff has with the, the with the line through them. 
And you can tell that I can tell that's leather, not pleather. But look at it. I mean, the, the stuff on the outside is good. It's just this thing on the inside. It's not faded, but it's stained around there. If I can get that cleaned off, but the gold is fine. The thing, the emblem, and even this has Tory Burch on it. So yeah, Tory Burch on the hardware. I'll say this has to be real. This is probably like a three hundred dollar purse. I know people sell these online, Tory Burch, especially one this size for a hundred dollars on freaking Poshmark. So it's not as bad as I thought it was when I looked at it in the store yesterday. Because it's in yeah, it's not really that bad. Just that inside part. It's in, it's in decent shape. If I can clean this inside out real good, clean around that thing real good, clean the inside out real good, I probably don't even really have to go through all that. Only thing was that this was faded. But you can't tell. Yeah, you can kind of see it on camera, but that's faded on the outside. But if I can get something to try to paint that back gold, that might be this might be a good sell for me. It has that little pocket. But I think this would be a good sell. This little gold purse. I don't know if my thing, my chat stuff. Is it gold and cream? Is like tan, like a straw, the color of straw, kind of, almost like a khaki and gold. Can you see? That's what color it is. Like a tan khaki, khaki and gold. It's darker than cream. But it's a cute purse. Cute Tory Birch. It will be going on my Poshmark. When I get my Poshmark set up, I was hyped. I have never found. And I found a Tory Birch uh, dress, too. So, and I paid regular price for that. It wasn't half off. I paid $5.29. But it was a Tory Birch dress, and it was cute. I wore it to my son's graduation. I watched that real quick. Okay. I don't want to open that yet until I make sure I got all the little purses. So I told you I was going to do the purses first. Oh, and more belts. I did buy more belts. Do I have purses over there? I think so. Oh, I have shoes. I can do shoes and purses and belts at the same time. I got these shoes today. Look at these. I thought they were so cute. Just sandals. And this, the brand is Report. No. Uh, and they're not, not worn. Basically, if they were worn, they were worn one time. And these are three ninety nine. Three ninety nine for these cute little shoes. Yep, these are cute and probably very easy to walk on because they're stacks. So they're probably cute and comfortable. Three ninety nine. Report. And I got this Betsy Johnson belt. It's a Betsy Johnson belt, upside down. <laughs> Betsy Johnson belt. It's purple to go with my purple, excuse me, purple coach purse. Matches perfectly with that little purple coach purse I got at the thrift store last week. But yeah, with purple belt. I have so many belts now, should never be looking for a belt. I'm buying all the belts that I think are different and cute in the store. And of course, it's just a little cheetah print. Because that other one was just purple on, and the cheetah was on the side you don't wear it on. But this is just a little cheetah print belt um, from the Limited. So I got that one. Then I saw these little belts. I don't, I don't think they're a brand or anything. They're just some cute little belts. And they're different. So I got them. If I see something that's cute, they don't have to be a brand. Cute is cute. I can't find the other one. It's in there somewhere, but it's just a little bit. But I love this, the hardware on it. This one has like a copper looking hardware. Rose gold kind of hardware. And belts are just $1.79. So $1.79 for cute little belts. Put over dress. Or you can fit these in your pants. Shorts, pants, whatever you're wearing. And then I got this thing, brand new with tags that I'm definitely going to sell. This was 99 cents yesterday. The red tag was over 99 cents. Uh, let's say top it off accessories is what it is. 
but yeah it's brand new it feels so comfortable it feels really 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 comfortable it feels really comfortable but i will be selling it even the inside yeah this is something really great for the winter time yeah i like what i like too but if it's a brand name and it's cute that's even better for me <laughs> i like it all but this is so comfortable I don't know, but I'm selling it. I'm not going to keep it, but it's cute for the winter time, isn't it? Like a little sheep. I look like a little sheep. And it's brand new. It's so comfortable. I don't know. I might have to think on that one. But I think I'm selling it. But I might have to think on it. I don't know. I don't know because this feels so good. I don't know. It doesn't say it's real cheap skin, but it feels like it. It feels so good. Let me see. I doubt it is, but now faux fur. Faux fur polyester made in China, but it feels awesome. And it feels like you like a blanket. That's what it feels like, a nice soft blanket. So it might be on my Poshmark, or I might keep it for the winter time for myself. Because that's cute. Here's some more purses for you. More purses. $3.99 purses. Now this one's going to take some work, some serious work. But I said for $3.99. I mean, I guess that's why they didn't price mark this one because they usually price mark coach when they know it's coach. But they didn't price mark this one. This is like a it's not really lavender. What you call plum? This is plum. It's a plum. And it's just the suede parts. It's just gonna take some work. I'm gonna get some suede cleaner and see if I can get that clean because it's very the suede is very dirty. So hopefully I can get some really good suede cleaner. Clean that suede on the bottom, clean the suede around the edges, and then it's fine. Because the strap, nothing's wrong with that handle. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Nothing's wrong with that handle. And this is Coach, and it can be, and it got a little tassel, little cute little tassel with it. It has, the, of course, the little Coach uh, thing. And it has this with the code in it. And it also has this in it. So it was a little bonus, a little added bonus. Just this little, I guess, cosmetic bag, cosmetic case or whatever that was inside. So that's an added bonus, a little Coach cosmetic case. It comes with the purse, I guess. So that's cute. Once it gets cleaned up, I'm going to have to stop by and start fixing and cleaning so I can do a video showing y'all the improvements I made on this stuff that I fixed and cleaned. Hello, fourth person watching. Welcome to my my well you left now <laughs> then i got this purse thought it was cute 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 simple leather purse and it's a 18 it's like the agner 18 agner but it just says 18 but on the inside it says agner but 18 in time however you pronounce it it is in cursive but you can see it better on this little tag but it's in cursive but the inside you can see the symbol and it says that on both sides. And then the inside is like that. If I move that out of the way, I'm trying to let you see the inside. So, yeah, can you see that? That's what it is. Nice purse. It's in good shape. I'm probably going to sell this one, but it's really cute. But I'm probably going to sell it see what I can get off of it because it's a nice purse. So this one's probably going to go on my posh mark. I'm debating because look how cute that is. I think it's really cute for the fall, winter and it's solid. It's a strong leather. This is not a cheap leather at all but it would sell for some good money on Poshmark. And then I have this one. This Coach. And you, I think they didn't know this was Coach. Because it doesn't say it. It has a nice quality strap. But it's just a simple suede purse on the outside. If you just look at the outside. So you wouldn't think it was Coach. Until you unzipped it. And looked at the inside. So it is Coach. Now whether it's real or not. I don't know. But it seems like it's nice quality. It doesn't seem like the fake Coaches I bought before. Back in the day. Seems like a nice quality coach. So I guess I can look that number up some kind of way to find out. 
I think it tells you something. But yes, of course, the YKK, you know, to look for, they always say something about the YKK. It's on this part of the zipper. On that part. So but it's a nice little person. If it's coach, it's real suede, definitely real suede. And if it's a real coach, just clean it on up a little bit because it has maybe a one pin mark on it. There's a mark right here. I don't think it has any other marks on it. So it's really in good shape. A cute little purse. I'll type it in Google. Let me try it now while y'all on here. Let's see what happens. I didn't know it was that easy to authenticate them. Do you got to put coach in front of it or just type the number without putting coach? Google. I'm going to put coach in front of it. Coach. D25. Oh, I said S. That's not a five. S. S9187. Coach Somersell. I don't know. What the heck? D2, we reviewed all of them. Best D2. Let me see. I don't know how to search it. Let me go back and see how what y'all saying. I put coach. Oh, you said we don't I don't put coach. I put coach and it didn't it just went, took me to the coach store. Oh, a picture. So I should have went to shopping images. Okay, bring something up. Yeah, it's just spinning, taking forever. Taking forever. Searching crypt. I don't want that doing that. I'm trying to do it on Google. Or well, something crazy. I don't like using Google Chrome. I use Firefox. Okay, now I'll try it. Let me try it. D to S M one A seven. Go through. I went to that same. I'm going to Firefox. I don't know why my Google is doing search and crypt. I'm not trying to do search and crypt. D two S nine one eight seven. Yep, it's there, y'all. It's there. It's there. <laughs> so this is real. Wow, I didn't know it was that easy to authenticate. This exact same bag. They have it in maroon as well. Wow. Rena Rich Brown Leather Handbag. So gorgeous. So that's the brand of it. Coach Bags Tan Suede Hobo Handbag. Vintage Coach. So this is vintage split suede bag. So I could put vintage on there because it's vintage. But it's my bag on there. So there, yeah, that's a good find. Thank y'all for the input because I would not have known I was going to try something like that. But yeah, it's this bag. But they got a dry clean tag on there. So I should have knew if they're going to put dry clean the purse, they must have had value on it. But yeah, so this is a real coach, y'all. And I got a, I hope that other one's a real coach. Sell it on Etsy or Poshmark. I was going to try to put it on a Poshmark. Yep. So let me try this other one because here's another coach that I found at the same Goodwill. That one Goodwill is where I found all the, my good bags. This this one it has a little lock on it. It's cute for somebody who would like a big purse. Like if you know, I'm not a big purse person. So this and it feels like it's wool. I don't know if that's wool, but it feels like it. I'm allergic to wool. But that's cute little lock. I don't know if it has a key to the lock. I don't see a key. But let me look this one up as well. Let's look this number up. It has an F. I know if it has an F, it's a factory outlet bag. Learned that from watching Miss Philly. So let me search this. It's a factory outlet bag if it's real. But I think it's real. F. 
one one because I bought fake ones years ago and they look fake. I mean, the inside is cheap and these do not have cheap inside. They have satin does not turn up. Uh, F one one seven one dash one seven eight seven eight one three. Yep, it's right there. Yay! Another real one, y'all. Another real one. Comes right up. How much are people selling this purse for? Let's see. Coach bags. This is a this is a Chelsea Boucle Emerson satchel. So that's what this is. Hmm. I don't know how much it sells. It's on Poshmark. Let's see. I'm trying to go and see how much it sells for. Ooh, somebody's selling it for 188 bucks. 188 bucks, y'all. If I can make 180, oh, it does have the key. The keys are in here. It has two keys. Just like how Louis Vuitton's and stuff do. It has the keys in here. Oh, shoot. I got some value now, y'all. See the keys? They're right in there. Yes, yes, yes. This is some value. And it's not nothing wrong with this purse. Not a thing. Nothing's wrong with this purse. So, yeah, I just picked some of the little knots on it off. But other than that, there's nothing wrong with this purse. This is going to make me some money. 188 bucks. It even has the little coach on here. That little thing says coach. So that was another heck, heck on good find, y'all. I done made up a word. Heck on good. That was heck on good. That shows how country I am. <laughs> yeah, Martha, this is fun. This is fun, huh? I just got this little thing because I thought it was cute. How cute is this little thing? It was only a dollar seventy nine. It's just to put your phone in there, put your credit cards in there. It's just cute. It's nothing. It's just cute. It's and it feels it's like a PVC probably, but it's so cute and summery and springy. Yeah, Miss Philly's going through it. Hopefully she gets better. Hey, J3, what's up, nephew? What you doing, nephew? That's my nephew, my little nephew that comes on here and says, hey, Team Random, when he stays with me on the weekends. That's him, J3 Walk 3. That's my little nephew, y'all. The one that y'all love, the little boy. Well, not the baby, because, of course, the baby's not typing, but the little boy. He's eight years old. J3, I found some good purses. You see how much your auntie about to be making some money on a, on a, YouTube, I mean, on Poshmark, I got some more purses for ya. This one's new with tags. It's cute little summery spring. How cute is this yellow purse? It's got a magnetic closure. So yeah, I thought this was cute, 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 cause it's yellow. I'm trying to get into some yellows. I'll call you. You have to send me your number to my email. You have my email because you emailed me before. But yeah, this is a Olivia and Joy purse, and it's brand new. And I looked these up. They're, these are at least about 60 bucks for this size. About 50 bucks just for this size purse. They had a big one, but it, the leather was peeling on it. I said, no. Because they had that one for $5.99 or $4.99. It was big and black, but the handle had peeling. But this one's brand new with tag. With tag. So I can get some money off of this. My day's going good, nephew. I've been finding some good stuff. Yeah, it says retail. Suggested retail. 68 bucks. If y'all can see, that's blurry. Why is it so blurry? But it says suggested retail is 68 bucks. If y'all. Y'all can't read it. So to get some of this suggested retail is 68 bucks and it's brand new with tag. I think I'm gonna keep this for myself though, because it's cute. I'm I'm trying to do the yellow. I'm trying to be into the yellow. It just has a little bit where I'm gonna have to clean that. I guess they when they packed it or whatever, it got a little dirty, but I can clean that, wipe that off. Probably take some alcohol and wipe that off. And look at this cute little coach purse. How cute! It would be a cute travel crossbody. So I got me a, some travel crossbodies in all colors from the thrift stores. If y'all seen, but how cute! And you know it's got to be vintage, but it is adorable. It has a little 
wallet like picture thing in there <laughs> little wallet picture thing on the inside of it probably put that in a bigger purse because this little thing takes up the whole purse but i thought that was awesome too so i can look that number up as well if i can see it is so little of a purse let me see Let's do this. I like looking up these numbers. Now, I don't know if this one's real because this number looks fake as all that. <laughs> ah, we about to find out. This number has zero, zero, zero in front of it. It don't sound right. It's supposed to have a letter in front of it. We about to find out, but it's cute. It's see, and it looks real. Feels real. The leather feels real. So if it's fake, it must be real leather. Uh, zero, zero, zero dash. Nine eight two six. Nine eight two six. Images. Uh uh, it's not coming up. <laughs> but I thought it was cute. And nobody can tell. Can't tell that it ain't real. Yeah, this ain't real. Yeah, or it doesn't have none. But this even feels real and everything. It looks real to me. It fooled me. But I didn't care if it was fake because I thought it was cute. Inspected by 28. So it was inspected. So I don't know. Got the creed and it has a number, but that's zero. It looks like zeros to me. Oh, that's not. That's C zero C. Ah. Uh, these old ass, y'all. These old ass. C zero C. It's still not bringing nothing up. Cause I think that's what it says. Uh, I'm trying to get the lighting right to where I can see. It's hard to see. Yes. Yeah, that's C. C zero C. Nine eight two six. I think it's a six. Yeah, C zero C nine eight two six. So it's not bringing nothing up. Put coach in front of it. See if it brings something up. Oh, it does. It does, y'all. But let me see if this little bitty one's. It's the other picture. Oh, there's the little bitty one right here. Vintage accessories, vintage coat, mini belt, 9826, made in USA, navy blue. That one's navy blue, but this just, it's it. It's the same one. It's the same one. It's real. I'm sorry, I'm getting too excited, y'all. Too excited. I'm not selling this, so I don't know why I got excited, because I'm keeping this as a crossbody for myself. But I want to see how much they're selling it for. Probably not much, because it's a little bitty old purse, but it's so cute. Trying to see if it'll come up to where you see how much they selling it for. Oh, there it is. Okay, how much are they selling it for? $39.99. What they're selling it for. Every, they're selling everything they got on this site for $39.99. But that's not bad for this little big purse. I'm not going to sell it though. It's mine. It's too cute. It's too cute to sell it out. There's another one. Same purse. Mini vintage coach convertible cross mini crossbody belt bag pouch. Oh, this can be a belt, a pouch bag too. A belt bag too. How can it be a that won't fit around me? It's no belt. I don't think it probably fall off. It says belt bag. I don't know how you can do that. Oh, is it does this slide? No. I don't know. It'll be just crossbody on me, but it's cute. Cute, 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 y'all. Cute, cute, cute. <laughs> I'm going to sell some of them, J3. All right, and we got... And this is the other belt. I found it now. They're just some simple little belts that I just thought was cute, and I like the hardware, how shiny that little gold hardware on it. Just thought it was cute. Yeah, I've been finding some good stuff. Y'all want me to stop or keep going? <laughs> that's all the purses. They ain't all of them, but that's all for right now. 
Or no, I can go over and grab that bag that has purses in it. Y'all want me to stop or keep going? Save some for another haul or keep going? Oh, yeah, I, I should ch check out Purple Coach. Uh, I got to go to the other room. So I'll be running, run out, and run back in to show it. Ch check it. Got some stuff over here. Some bags in here. Oh, I got another. I got more purses for y'all. Let me go find that purple coach. Find the purple coach. So let's check it. Please be real because you're so cute. You're so adorable. Even if you're fake, I'm still going to rock you because you're adorable, this purple coach. So you said keep going, keep going, keep going. <laughs> hey, this is fun. This is going to be one of the longest lives I've done. It already probably is. I don't usually go long like Joan. Joan goes forever. Y'all going to have me going forever. Y'all have her going. <laughs> okay, let's look it up. All right. Oh, remember this one doesn't have a number because it's one of those purses that don't have a doesn't have a number. So I don't know how I would look this one up. It just has the creed. But they said some cross body coaches do not. They can have the creed without a number or not even have a creed. But yeah, remember this one just had the creed. So I don't. There's no way to look this one up. That sucks. No way to look it up. Is there any other numbers I can look up? Made in the Philippines. That's all I see. And uh, yeah, made in Philippines. That's all. There's no number. I forgot that they said there's some that don't have inside on the paper. Where's a paper? That tag just says made in the Philippines. There's nothing, nothing anywhere. I mean, maybe I can let me see if I look up Coach Crossbody. Purple Coach Crossbody. See if I can find it. Purple Coach Crossbody. Images. I find it. Is that is that it? No, I don't know. It's kind of similar, but it has more pockets. But let me see. That one doesn't have a number on it either. Oh, it, that one does. It has a tiny number. It's not the same one, though. That's probably a big purse. I don't know. Even though I look crossbody. I'm trying to find it. Is that it? Is that it? No. Here, this looks like this is it. Yeah, because that one doesn't have a number and it looks just like this. Has the little coach on the inside written around the inside of the purse like this one does. This one did have, I saw coach, yeah, coach is on the inside. So this is similar. Yeah, this is very similar to this. And it doesn't have a number either. But I think that's a bigger bag because it says hobo. And somebody's selling that one for 109, but it's a different kind of shape. Same style with the gold, coaching the gold, and it doesn't have a creed, but it's a different shape. I mean, it doesn't have a code. It has the creed, just like this one. Now, that one's close, but it's not it. 
I'm trying to find it, y'all. Didn't think it would be this many different styles of purple coaches, but I should have knew it would. But I got this at the same thrift store that I got those other ones at. I don't care if it ain't real. I love this person. I'm keeping this for myself. Because I don't even know how to tell with this one. Because it's one of those without the creed. Unless you buy it, buy it at the store yourself. It just looks like, oh, here's one. It's lavender and looks like this. So let's see about the lavender one. It has silver rings instead of the gold, but it's basically the same purse. Is that my purse? Is that the purse? Nope. Yeah, that's really close. This one's it. That's it. Now, does the zipper look the same? If it's not it, it's very close. That zipper's a little different. I have a zipper that says coach. That one that says has some different kind of zipper, but this one, that's close as I'm going to get to it, but it's different. It's very close, though. Stuart Verveers, you've made a fall, me fall in love with the coach again. So this might be Stu, Stuart Verveers uh, style because that's the closest one I can see to this. It just sucks it doesn't have a freaking number that you can just look it up and there, then bam, there it is. I don't know why they did that. Why they make make didn't put numbers on some of them. It's silly. Coach, that's silly. Why'd y'all do that? Is this it? This looks like this is it. No, that's a lighter purple, I think. Yeah, I can't find this. Too many of them. There's way too many. Oh, well. I'll do research later. On to the next. Because it's purple. It's so many purple coaches popping up. It's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, I think it's real. And if it's not, I don't care because it's cute and I'm still going to wear it. I'm still going to rock it, but it feels real. This does not feel fake. And it got all the signs with the coach, 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 coach on the inside, the little word. Plus, it's made in the Philippines. And I know some coaches I made in the Philippines. And plus, it has a coach on the hardware, too. Fake persons don't go through all the, on the hardware, on the sad typing coach on what was it? The handles. Yeah, the handles right here. They don't go through all that hard work and other details. Oh, I was supposed to go to the other purses. Now, these little purses were three ninety nine, like the other ones, but these were just cute. So I just had to get them because they're nothing. They're just some cute. They're cute. Look at these little purses, though. They're so cute. That's like throwback to when I was a kid. These little purses was in style, but these are like brand new, barely used little purses. And they're cute. This is the black one. And then I got this one. Cute, cute, cute. I just thought they were cute. And it's just a plain little button in magnet magnetic button but i just think these are so cute and i know these little purchases with these handles like this are kind of in style so yeah i love yeah i love small purses i do i really do so you never know when you see me with a big purse that that's going on poshmark <laughs> or either i'm selling it to somebody else yeah grab and go purses and they're cute like the likes those are cute for us well, the black one I probably will wear in fall, winter, but you can wear black in the summertime too. Carry a black person. Sometime I got black per black on now, so I could carry those. I'm probably most of the summer and uh, fall, spring, summer, and fall. I wouldn't carry them in the winter because they're straw. So yeah, spring, summer, and fall. And here goes another bag of bags. And like I said, most of these bags come from that same thrift store. But this one, then it came from a different thrift store. And this is just a genuine leather, Wilson's leather. I think it was Wilson's. Wilson's but yeah, Wilson's leather backpack. Thought it was cute. You know, these little backpacks and stuff are in. So I thought this was cute. Little Wilson's leather, leather backpack. It's in good shape. It's just smushed. 
And I don't know if I'm going to keep this or if I'm going to sell this. I might put this on my Poshmark. Because I really don't have a use for a, a backpack. But I was, like it was a leather backpack. Wilson's leather backpack. And look at this little Kohan purse. How cute is this little purse? That's cute. Little crossbody. Cute little simple crossbody. Kohan. Now, you like Wilson's leathers? See, might have to get on my Poshmark when I get it up. Just a little simple little Kohan. I don't know if it's supposed to be for kids or what. Can't even show the thing. If this is a Kohan for kids. <laughs> but it's just, I think it's just a little crossbody for adults. But I thought it was cute. So I don't know if I'm going to keep this or sell it. I might keep it. I don't quite know yet. Because it is cute. So that one, I think it was $3.99 too. And then I got this purse. I had to get it because it's cute. And this one probably will go for sale because I do have a white coach purse that I got on Poshmark. But it's not as neat and clean as this one. This one's like brand new. Antonio Milani. Uh, Antonio Milani. And it's so cute. I have too many purses. That's why I say I'm going to end up giving some of these purses away. All these purses that I've said are mad, man. I'm probably going to give them away, Miss Raven. I mean, not give them away, sell some. And then I might have a giveaway and start giving some stuff. I ain't had a giveaway in a while. So it's tap, almost time for a giveaway. So I probably will give some some purses away in a giveaway. But that's cute. But Antonio Milani, which I know Antonio Milani is not cheap. I think it's at Dillard's or Macy's or both. So this is a cute little leather purse. White leather but it looks just like that white coach that i have so i don't i may sell it or i may sell the coach and keep this one because i just think this one's cute even though it may cost less than a coach it's cute and i don't know if the coach has a handle like this i think the coach has little regular little handles I have to find out and then i got this bag showing school spirit school spirit i love uk basketball College UK basketball. I can't live in Lexington, Kentucky without loving UK. So go UK and it's camo. This is a gift for a graduate. I'll give it to one of the graduates or either my niece, one of my niece. My, I ain't giving it to my son. He's the graduate, but my god niece might want it. She might like that. And then this is going to be a gift too. A gift to either my niece or somebody. I'm getting hundreds thanks to the thrift store. I need to quit. So I get my room set up with my shoes and my purses in there. Right now, it's just the stuff in the bags from the thrift store overtaking the room in Poshmark. This cute little Tommy tote. That's cute for a teenager for school, college, college, high school. Cute little tote. And it was $3.99 as well. Little Tommy Hilfiger tote. And some belts. This belt looks like a gunmetal belt or something. This looks like reminds me of like a gun, a bullet belt. The belt was with the bullets in them or something. I just thought it was different, and I had to get it. And it's Nine West synthetic materials, gold with that little whatever on it. And then this is just a navy blue belt. This is just I just needed a navy blue belt because I have some navy blue boots. So I now have a navy blue belt to go with my navy blue boots. I think I had another navy blue belt from all them belts I bought the other day. Belts are only $1.79, so why not? Okay, let's get to this bag. This is this was regular price. I got it yesterday during the 99 cent sale, but it was it's regular price because it was not red tag. Red tag was 99 cent yesterday. This week is orange tag. That are half off, and then Sunday they'll be 99 cent. But I had to pay regular price for this because it was cute. And I had to get it because it's white market, white, what is it? White house, black market. And you know, white house, black market is not cheap. Size 12, that's what size I wear in dresses. But how cute is this? It's heavy too. So this is definitely going to be like a winter fall. I have to wear a jacket with it or something because it's heavy. I mean, I guess I could wear it in summer, but no. Here's a mock turtleneck collar, and it's heavy. So it's more than likely going to be uh, winter, fall. But look at this. It'll just look kind of Michelle Obama-ish. 
just really stylish. You think you're a little sophisticated. You put this little dress on, be thinking you sophisticated, a sophisticated lady for five dollars and twenty nine cents. <laughs> Well, that dress probably costs a hundred something because I know why I don't even go in White House Black. But I got some White House Black shoes that would go perfect with that from Poshmark. And then this uh, dress. The lady in red. <laughs> it's staring at me. I'm making up words, y'all. Don't, don't, y'all can correct me if y'all want to. I'm just making up words. Put the lady in red. That's what I'll be in this. New York and Company dress. I just thought it was cute. Cute little red dress. You got to have a red dress. If not two, you got to at least have one. It got the little fringe on the side. You know, when you get dresses like that, it brings you in some. When they have that little, brings you in. Kind of has your stomach, too. So I thought that was cute. It has a slip made on the inside of it. Satin slip made on the inside of it. This was 99 cent because it was it's red tag. So this dress was 99 cent yesterday. And I got this dress for 99 cent. And I got all that green jewelry today. It would go perfect with this little green dress. The bracelets and the necklaces. I was trying to, I'm trying to still get stuff for Jamaica. That dress is a church dress, but this one's gonna be worn in Jamaica, like walking on the beach or something. I can wear it over my swimsuits instead of like as a cover up. Just thought it was cute. Says the J. Peterman Company. I don't know what J. Lexington, Kentucky. Oh, this is this is Kentucky Proud. Kentucky Proud made in Lexington. But yeah, just linen, green linen dress. It's cute. It'll be real cute when it's ironed. No, it would be beautiful when it's ironed. Ninety nine cents because it's red tag. And y'all see my green necklaces that I got. They go 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 perfect with that dress. And then this is a Black Jones New York top. It was 99 cents red tag. Just a Jones New York top. Little V-neck type of thing. Something cute, simple. You gotta have cute, simple black tops. Because you can do so much with a cute, simple black top. On to this bag. Y'all want tell me when to stop. Y'all don't want me to stop. Y'all want me to do all my stuff in one. Oh. <laughs> I got three bags over there that I'm going to stop. I'm not going to do those. I'm going to put them in a different hall. <laughs> and yeah, this. Look at this big bag. Look at this. How cute is this? It's not, you know, it ain't mine. You know, I'm going to sell this. Bella Luca. I think that's what it says. Bella Lucia. Bella Luca of something. Where's that name of this purse? Oh, it's on this little thing. Bella Luca. B E L L A L U C A. I think it's an A, yeah. So, yeah, that's what this is. Bella Luca. But it's just a cute for those big purse people. This is a cute purse for y'all big people who like these big purses. Look at that little thing. It's just nothing, but it's cute. Isn't that just cute, cute detail? A little cute big purse. It has Bella Luca on this little piece back here on the pocket. Just a cute big purse for big purse people, which I am not. And, you know, I guess you it only has one loop on here. I don't think it has another loop where you can make it the strap longer. Nope. But I guess you could poke holes in it and make the strap longer. Poke holes in this belt part if you want it to go down further. But yeah, I just thought it was cute. And I guess, it, and look, it can be worn as a backpack too. Because it has handles. So it could be a backpack as well. So that's, that's cool. And that's cool. A purse or a backpack. So it's convertible, convertible bag. Eh, where, where, where was it? Did I drop this bag? Yeah, I dropped it. Two shirts. Shirts, shirts, shirts. 99 cent shirts. And this is a old navy shirt for me. Perfect stretch for work. 99 cents. Get you some work clothes. And another work shirt. This is a J. Crew 
shirt, ninety nine cents because it was a red tag. Nice gray work shirt. Cute little work shirt. And this is just a summer spring shirt, ninety nine cents. Austin Clothing Company. Don't know what that is, but that's what brand it is, Austin Clothing Company. But I just like the colors. This is a green greens and blues or something so my green jewelry would go with this top as well I know since and a cute little old school Ralph Lauren dress I said how cute is this this is cute definitely gonna wear this I might wear it in Jamaica I might not I don't know I ain't that sense for a Ralph Lauren dress and it's kind of vintage. It's old school to me because I remember the style. I remember he, when he had these plaid styles. But this is a cute little dress. How cute. Cute, cute, cute. Like a little private school girl in my little dress. <laughs> I think there's one more bag down here for you all that I have. Yeah, just this one more bag. Because uh, I'm not going to go through those last three. I'll save those for another haul, for a little mini haul. Got to have some footage. Look, what are you, what I need to look up, the, the Ralph Lauren dress? Oh, or the, what would you say I need to look up, Martha? This is another pair of shoes, not worn, Vince Camuto. These are Vince Camuto. These are my size. So these are my shoes. They are not worn. Awesome deal. $3.99. $3.99 for some Vince Camuto shoes. That's a steal. That's a steal. I could sell these on Poshmark for a good deal, for a good price. But these are mine. Mine, mine, mine. Unless I change my mind, which I could depending on how much I can get for them, because they're brand new, so I probably could at least get $30 for these shoes. Not worn at all. Vince Camuto. I wish they didn't turn the price tag off. But yeah, these are not cheap shoes. Now I'm getting into the bright colors. Getting into the bright, but this is for my son. This is a Lanzian, Lanzian top. I just wanted to get him a bright color because he looks good in bright color. He had uh, like a peach on for his graduation. He looked nice, and he looks nice in these bright colors. This yellow will look nice. It was it was on half off today. Orange is half off today, so that was dollar and something for that shirt, like a dollar and fifteen cents, I think, for that shirt. Then this is a little Kmart shirt, but it's brand new with tags. $16.99 shirt, and this is for me. I love the colors. Love the colors for spring, summer. How cute is this? The colors. It was half off, so it was like a dollar, something like that. Well, that might have been cheaper than that, but yeah. Because it's a camisole, considered a cami. This is considered a cami, so yeah, half off today. And this is a little express little top with these little plastic little beads on it. I just thought it was cute, and it goes all the way around. The detail goes all the way around to the back. And that'll be cute once it's ironed and on and just flowing and flowing and flowing. Be really cute. And then I got this. I thought this was a cute little flowy. All of these were like a dollar because they're just camis. Valet and Claire. I don't know who Valet and Claire are. I don't know them. But I thought this was just a cute top. Can wear a suit coat over it and wear it to work. But I, I can wear a sleeveless and wear it to work, really. Because we, we can wear sleeveless. And I got this for my nephew oh that bella luca i did look those purses up they're like 70 bucks or something like that but it wasn't one that big i need to find one that size that because the regular ones were like 50 to 70 bucks but i need to see what that size person would be 
Bengals. I don't know if we have any Bengals fans in the house tonight. <laughs> but yeah, Bengals football. My brother's a Bengals fan. My nephew is. Got this for my nephew, Devon. I'm going to give that to him. He's crazy about the Bengals because his daddy's crazy about the Bengals. And I mean crazy about the Bengals. <laughs> he was upset when that star player got in that fight. He was mad at his mom because his mom was laughing at him. <laughs> I got this because look what this says. I had to get it. It was not half off. It was regular price, which was like $1.99, something like that, $1.79 because it's a cami. But look what it says. Haven't been everywhere, but it's on my list. <laughs> You're not a Bengals fan, Laura. Oh man, I don't watch football or anything anymore, anyway. But my yeah, my brother and my nephew diehard Bengals fans. But because that's the closest team we have to us in uh, Kentucky. Plus, the Bengals used to their, their training camp was always in Georgetown. I don't know if they still have it there, but they used to always have their training camp every summer in Georgetown which is like 10 minutes from us, 10, 15 minutes from Lexington. So that's why most people in Lexington are Bengals fans. But, yeah, I love what this shirt says. Haven't been everywhere, but it's on my list because this is me. I'm traveling. I got to get my way to Jamaica. This is a little Old Navy shirt, but I said I pay regular price for this because I love what it says. It was a dollar and 79 cents, I think. And this shirt... It's a Zara shirt, so I had to pay regular price. It wasn't on clear because orange tax was half off. But if you know me, if I haven't told you all, Zara is one of my favorite stores, and we don't have a Zara. I found Zara when I was in Belgium for the first time, and I fell in love with the store. Then I went back when I went back to Belgium. The second time I, I fell in love, then I found some different locations because at that time when I first went to Belgium, there was only five Zara locations in the United States in 2015. But now there's a lot of locations, and most big cities have a Zara. Like New York has a lot, and New Jersey has a few, too. So when I went to New York last year, I went to New Jersey and got some stuff, a dress from Zara and some perfume. I always get the perfume because that perfume smells really good, and it's very affordable. Like nine ninety nine for a big bottle of perfume, and that perfume smells good. When I wear it, people are like, what is that you got on? What is that you got on? But Zara. So I pay regular price for it. Because it's Zara and it's cute. It's pink. If you can't tell, it's like a hot pink. But you can't really tell. It makes it look dull in the camera, but it's really a cute pink color. And it's flowy and just cute. And Zara, my favorite store. So that's the last bag I'm going to show y'all tonight. I got three more bags over there and probably some more in there. And I'll probably buy some more before the next video. But that's the last one for tonight. Thank y'all for watching me. Have fun watching. Got to cough. <coughs> All that dust, I guess. Ugh. I have fun hanging out with y'all. Springfield. My supervisor is from Springfield, Ohio. His name is is well i can't tell all his business <laughs> but yeah my supervisor's from springfield ohio but i'm not gonna tell that too much about him but yeah he, that's cool uh thank for hanging with y'all now yeah i'm gonna watch y'all watch your video martha you said you got a video who else has a video laura you got a video up anita you got a new video up I know you got a new video because I saw you that you was going to do a jewelry jar. So I'm going to watch your jewelry jar video. Watch Anita's jewelry jar video. I think she did it today, this afternoon, or before the, at 11 a.m. today. She did a video, so I'm going to have to watch it. I'll watch your video, Martha. If anybody else has a video, let me know. Hey, Stephanie. I hope you subscribe. Yeah, I'm about to head on out there. I've been out here for almost two hours fooling with Martha and Laura. <laughs> fooling with them out here they telling me to keep going i said y'all want me to keep going yes but i got three bags of stuff left that i'm not gonna do to another haul so i had to save something so i'll see y'all later maybe joan's gonna go live tonight or something we'll see hopefully joan or somebody else goes live and we have to see what they're talking about i'm gonna have to go to see oh anita you know a lot about necklaces because uh, 
I have necklaces with this marking that I want to know what this symbol is. Where's the, that necklace? All this stuff I got in here. Was it this one? I think it was this one. It's tangled up again. No, that one is Cold Water Creek. You heard of Cold Water Creek? That's what that one was, but that was cute. But no, it's another one in here that has a symbol. And I have in my last haul. But yeah, look at that. This is what I found. That uh, that Dana Bachman one, brand new, was in my in my basket. But I had a lot of cute stuff. But y'all have to go back and watch it to see the cute stuff. I'm trying to find that necklace that Mark was talking about. Uh, they had that symbol. It's right here. Uh, thank you. This one's it. Where was it? Where is it? Is this it or is this? No, this is the mix one. Mix something culture. Where is it? Is it this one? I think it's this one. This necklace. It has. This symbol on it, and my other jewelry jar the other time had this symbol. Do you know, Anita, what this means? What is this symbol? You know what brand that is? Or what that symbol stands for? Because I had a necklace in my last one that had that same symbol. It has to be some kind of brand symbol. I don't know what that symbol is. Anybody know? Anybody know? Just think it's different and cute. Different, cute. Kind of reminds me of Tin Man on the Wizard of Oz. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't think about that scanning stuff. Y'all, y'all know. Y'all do all that stuff. This is all new to me. I just say it's cute. I don't even know. But I did find three items that I gotta get a magnifying glass because three items with markings, and this was one of the items that has a marking. This gold necklace. I don't know if it's real gold, but I'm thinking it is. And I think that might maybe that's a blue topaz or something. Don't know. But that was one of them. Had three items with markings that I'm gonna have to get a magnifying glass because these old eyes couldn't see what those markings said. Okay, yeah. Message me, comment, or whatever in the video. And let me know if it said anything. But that's a sapphire. Wow, cool. Blue sapphire. I, I'm gonna look at. I got some good finds. That, that this jewelry jar was was twenty four ninety nine, but I got some really nice stuff in this jewelry jar. So yeah, to go back and look at the jewelry jar and all the purses and all the stuff that I went through at the end of the video, clothes, purses, and stuff. We had a good time in here tonight. I had a good time chilling with y'all, talking to y'all, and I hope y'all have a blessed night, a blessed week. I hopefully I'll do another video in a couple of days or so. We'll see. Maybe Wednesday. Do the rest of those three bags over there, and I might have bought them, bought some more stuff by the end. And I have like three or four Poshmark items too. So probably Wednesday, I'll do another live Wednesday around 7 38. Around that time. We'll shoot for eight, but 7 30 could be it. I might do it as soon as I get home. So it could be earlier than that, 6 30. Just between 6 30 and 8. Be watching out Wednesday. But I'll see y'all. Y'all not going to keep me out here any more longer. <laughs> and I'll look out and see if Joan's going live tonight. I know she usually goes live around 9 o'clock. So hopefully she's going live or somebody's going live. And y'all have a blessed night, blessed week. I'll see y'all soon. Hopefully Wednesday. Had a ball with y'all too, Laura and Martha. And thanks for joining Anita and Stephanie. Y'all got to go back and watch it. See all the good stuff that I found. And we, we even Googled up some coach purses and found out that they were real for $3.99. I got them. And I got Tory Birch purse too. Gotta go look at it. Three ninety nine for three dollars ninety nine cents for that. But I'll see y'all. Bye, people. Love y'all, Team Random. Be blessed and be a blessing. I'm gonna get my posh mark up as soon as I can. I gotta work on it. It's gonna be a work in progress. But I will let y'all know. But y'all can buy it directly from me at cheaper prices because y'all my subscribers. <laughs>